Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to make this really easy, super fast, 10 minute, 10 minute one pot chili. So this is kind of a recipe that my family does. I've just kind of adapted and simplified it. So it is only five ingredients and then an optional sixth. Not too hard to do, very simple. What you wanna start off with is a pound of ground beef and then you're gonna spend the time dividing and cooking it not gonna lie, browning ground beef, even on my stove, which is pretty fast compared to my old apartment, does take a while for it to happen. So I usually prep all my other ingredients and open all the cans while I am letting the beef brown in the pan. So I'm using a non-stick, I think it's a skillet size pan. I think it's an inch and a half high. So it's perfect for holding all these ingredients in that one pot. I strongly suggest if you don't already have a pot that's about this size that you like to cook one meal in one pot with, this is a great one for it. I will link the brand and all the information for it down below. That way you guys have all of that at your disposal. Okay, so now that I've finished browning most of the beef, it's okay if you have a few stragglers in this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my flavor packet. You can obviously use your own combination. I like to use the Prita McCormick's ones, especially since I'm pretty sensitive to spicy food. I can tolerate the mild and the medium level. I can definitely not do the super spicy. So I just empty the whole packet over the beef while I'm finishing browning it and then just keep stirring. I went a little forceful with my shaking and got it all over the stove because I'm an idiot. So all I'm going to do is just move all the meat around in the pan so I collect all of the powder to coat the meat pretty evenly. Again, it's not the end of the world if every piece isn't evenly coated the same, just as long as the majority of it is all over the place. Now I'm going to add on some diced tomatoes that are labeled as chili ready. There's a lot of brands you can use in your local grocery store that provide them this way. That way you don't have to worry about dicing and cutting your own tomatoes if you're like me and you don't have the time to do all of that. And then you're just going to keep on mixing, putting everything together in this bowl. Make sure you're moving this around so that, that that way the powders are still coating all the meat while you're adding the other ingredients. And then I'm just adding some mild chili beans to go with the mild seasoning that I put on the meat. In this case, it's some Brooks Chili Ready Beans. These, again, this same brand, I think they come in a mild, a medium, and a hot. So Super easy to make this as hot or as mild as you want. I'm obviously showing you guys the mildest version of doing all of this. And then the big thing from now is just keep on moving everything around in the pot, letting it simmer. I've kept it on about a medium heat right now so I can heat up the beans and the tomatoes to be about the same temperature the meat was while it was cooking. Okay guys, so the rest of this recipe is super easy, quick to finish. Just take whatever bowl you have, put the chili in that bowl, and then you're going to add a type of cheese. Usually for mine, I use this Sargento's Four Cheese Mexican Blend. That way it's got a little bit of a kick to it. You can obviously choose something spicier if you're using a spicy recipe. And then I just grabbed some Fritos, the chili flavor kind, to either eat my chili with or add it on top. I hope you guys enjoyed my super easy 10 minute recipe and be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.